Hi, we are the Sheffield CDT for energy storage and its applications. And for our energy storage challenge, we are working on the development and improvement of nickel iron batteries. My name is Fred, Peter, Laurie, Isga, Luke, Mike. The nickel iron alkaline battery is an aqueous rechargeable battery that was invented at the end of the 19th century to the beginning of the 20th. Throughout the 20th century, they were typically used in large industrial vehicles as well as stationary applications. Nickel iron or knife cells are seen as a possible alternative to lead acid batteries due to their long operational life, relatively low toxicity and their physical and electrical robustness. Advantages and disadvantages of nickel iron batteries. They are extremely physically rugged, have long calendar lives and lower toxicities. Disadvantages include hydrogen evolution, lower power and energy densities and overall low efficiencies. In a knife battery the iron acts as the anode, nickel oxide hydroxide is the cathode and potassium hydroxide is the aqueous alkaline electrolyte. For our energy storage challenge we considered improvements to nickel iron batteries by the use of bismuth sulfate and potassium sulfate additives to the iron electrode and the cell's electrolyte respectively. Iron electrode can be modified in various ways to improve the performance of nickel iron batteries. Additives of sulfide such as bismuth sulfide changes the electrocrystallization kinetics leading to increased saturation of the electrode. Similarly, the electrolyte can be modified, for example, by the addition of potassium sulfide, which retards hydrogen evolution and thus increases coulombic efficiency. Electrodes were cut from nickel foam into strips of 50 by 10 millimeters. An active iron paste was made up consisting of varying amounts of iron powder, the electroactive material along with PTFE, used as a binder, and bismuth sulfide additive. Each nickel foam electrode was coated with this electroactive paste on an area of approximately one centimetre squared. The electrodes were then placed in a 75 degree oven for two hours, and then a vacuum oven. For the electrolyte, a small amount of lithium hydroxide was ground up and added to a 1 litre beaker along with potassium hydroxide and varying quantities of potassium sulphide. Deionized water was then added and the suspension mixed until all the compounds were dissolved. Further deionized water was then added to make up the electrolyte to 1 litre to give 28.5% potassium hydroxide solution. The cells were then assembled. The electrode and electrolyte formulations were tested on a 3 electrode cell. Nickel electrodes obtained from the commercial nickel iron battery were used as the counter electrodes of the cell so that the cells were negative limited. All potentials were measured against a mercury mercury oxide reference electrode. Experiments of charge and discharge were performed on a 64 channel Arbin potentiostat were then conducted under galvanostatic conditions at room temperature until they reached a steady state. Cells were cycled from 0.6 to 1.4 volts against the reference electrode at a rate of C over 5. An Excel spreadsheet was set up to calculate the accumulative charge for each cycle. The figure on screen shows a sample of these results. The positive portion representing charging and the negative portion representing discharging. The lomic efficiency for each cycle was determined by dividing the total discharge by the previous total charge. The results for all cycles for a given battery test are shown on screen. It can be seen that the battery's performance increased over the first 40 cycles. This period of increasing performance is known as a conditioning period. It is thought that this conditioning period is due to the physical stabilisation of the electroactive structure of the electrode. The potassium sulphide and bismuth sulphide additives were tested and different efficiencies were obtained. The bismuth sulfide increased the overpotential required for hydrogen evolution, hence increasing reversibility. However, adding too much bismuth sulfate has negative effect because the overall percentage of electroactive iron in the electrode is lower. Likewise, the use of potassium sulfate in the electrolyte has shown to have a positive impact in the overall performance of the battery.
However, too high a concentration of potassium sulfide and the columbic efficiency is lowered once again. In conclusion, knife batteries can be developed to the point where a combination of low material costs and high cycle life can make these batteries commercially viable. The greatest obstacle to this development is the mature industry already in existence for lead acid batteries. A shift towards energy production from intermittent renewables might provide a new large-scale energy storage market for the development of this technology in the future.